They claimed it was exercise in a pill, but the study was rigged to make it look better than it actually is, and the pill Jay Campbell and Hunter Williams recommended is so underdosed you'd need to take 4,124 of them per day to match what was used in the study. Even higher for the pills sold by Justin Compton IFBB Pro, and Vigorous Steve's recommended solution would require you to drink 11.34 liters of it per day. And all of these calculations are assuming that you weigh 70 kilograms or 154 pounds. When I realized this, I was shocked, and I felt obligated to share it with others who have wasted tons of money on their products. You may have heard of people hyping up SLU PP332, a so-called exercise mimetic that supposedly delivers the benefits of training without actually training. While it sounds great, when I actually broke down the study, I realized everyone recommending it is not only selling an underdosed product that will do absolutely nothing for you, but also leaving out critical details. So in this video, I'm exposing why SLU is completely overhyped and revealing a far more powerful peptide that obliterates it in real performance gains. I'm Brendan Henry, the world's number one authority on peptide science and a former biomedical engineer. Over the years, I've seen too many people get scammed, not just in health and biology, but in every niche. Whether it's supplements, biohacking, or even technology, marketing hype often destroys real results. Take audio technology, for example. When I was designing amplifiers, I kept seeing audiophile-grade capacitors loaded with buzzwords like silk fiber-wrapped and ultra-smooth frequency response, when in reality, these capacitors were total garbage for actual signal filtering. The same scam is happening right now with so-called exercise mimetics. SLU PP332 claims to be a game-changing exercise mimetic, but when you actually dissect the study, the numbers fall apart. It increased mice treadmill running time by 70% in four weeks of supplementation, but the total distance was 50%. This means the mice ran at a slower speed in the after test. This could be explained by the muscle fiber type shift from fast twitch to slow twitch. But even worse, all of the influencers who are selling this product have solutions in capsules dosed in the microgram range when the equivalent human dose is 8.1 milligrams per kilogram two times per day. This means if you weigh more than one pound, you're gonna have to take more than a handful of their capsules per day. Let's compare that to a completely natural peptide known as pinealon. Pinealon increased treadmill running time by 254% in 10 days. Yes, this was with training, but the results are significant and the endurance boost didn't immediately disappear after stopping pinealon. The effect persisted for at least three days after discontinuation and maybe even longer, but the study ended before we could find out. It enhanced the muscle tone in rodents with central nervous system trauma compared to controls, and in humans, it significantly improved heart rate power curves, prevented a significant endurance drop off in wrestlers, whereas the control group saw a steep decline. So the next time you hear someone claiming there's an exercise in a pill solution, please send them this video, because now you know the truth. SLU is overhyped and there are far better options out there. But why do these compounds actually work? Let's break down the science behind what really makes an endurance booster effective and explain how Pinilon can be considered as a exercise mimetic in its own right. Hi, Brendan Henry here. If you're finding this video valuable, I highly recommend grabbing a copy of my book, Peptide Salvation. I have made absolutely sure that Peptide Salvation is the most helpful and accurate book on peptides ever written. I wrote it because over the past year, I've heard guys say, Brendan, your peptide mastery course is too expensive, and I don't have $1,000. Well, consider this my gift to you and our gift to anyone who wants to learn about the life-changing magic of peptides, because now you can get what is, in some ways, an upgraded version of my course, Peptide Mastery, at a fraction of the price. But that's not the only reason I wrote this book. I was looking for someone, anyone, who could share accurate, meaningful information about peptides, only to end up completely disappointed. I bought every single peptide book published on Amazon only to find they were like primitive cave drawings filled with incorrect science and dangerous misinformation. If you've seen our science check articles, you already know how other so-called experts stack up. But I have made absolutely sure peptide salvation is scientifically flawless with more citations to real scientific research than any other peptide book ever published. Now to be clear, if you want bonuses, advanced protocols, and lifetime free updates, peptide mastery is for you. But make no mistake, Aside from this, Peptide Salvation is the single best peptide resource available, bar none. Just click the link in the description to get your copy now. SLU PP332 works by activating three estrogen-related receptors, ERR-alpha, ERRB, ERRY, with a strong preference for ERR-alpha. This sets off a downstream cascade of PGC1-alpha activation, PPAR-alpha activation, and FNDC5, or irisin, all of which improve mitochondrial biogenesis, 
insulin sensitivity, and help fuel cellular performance by enhancing glucose utilization. This mimics some of the effects of exercise, which is why SLU is being pushed as an exercise mimetic. But pinealon directly activates these endurance pathways more efficiently and with additional benefits beyond what SLU can achieve. In addition to the other supporting genes, pinealon also activates PPAR gamma, which is a necessary gene to activate in combination with PPAR alpha in order to get an increase in endogenous MOTC levels. MOTC is a peptide that not only enhances fat loss, increases energy, but is also associated with centenarian status in a Japanese population. Please check out my video I made on it here. And it also provides an inhibition of myostatin, which will allow for more muscle growth. Pinealon also activates the heat shock protein 70 gene, which further improves the stress adaptation response, insulin sensitivity, and androgen receptor quality, which boosts its potential even further beyond an exercise mimetic. At this point, it should be crystal clear. Pinealon isn't just an exercise mimetic, it's the most effective one we've ever seen. If you care about real performance gains, this is the peptide you want to be using. Unfortunately, most Pinealon capsules on the market are underdosed. If you want to see real benefits from Pinealon, whether it's endurance, brain function, or metabolic improvements, you'd need to take at least four capsules daily, and while that does work, it also makes Pinealon quite pricey. But I've got some good news for you. We're in the process of launching a double-dosed version at a lower cost than anything currently available. This means better results and more affordability. And if you want to be the first to know when it drops, just check the link in the description and sign up for my free resource kit, The Life-Changing Magic of Peptides. Not only will you be getting cutting-edge information on peptides, but you'll also be on the VIP list to get exclusive early access to the highest quality pinealon on the market. This has been Brendan Henry, the world's number one authority on peptide science, and thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day.